always push that hair down, huh? Look at that chin. What do you guys hair. think of this mullet? Look at that mullet. Hey, I'm just going to give you a haircut when you're sleeping. <laughs> full on mullet. Full What's the comedian? Full from Florida on. has that yeah. mullet and everything. Seriously. He's funny. He's on Joe Rogan a lot, too. And you hear his wavy, too. Theo? Yeah. Theo Vaughn? Theo. He's funny. So funny. Bringing the mullets back. Oh, my God. Mm. Seriously. Don't even, don't even make me flex Sorry. because I don't want to steal your I can't even fit in the screen. You see that? You don't need to. Everybody knows how you look. look. Everybody knows that These meat calm. hooks just hanging there. Here, yeah. You can have this. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here today. I'm just going to sit and look at the guts. <laughs> the legs hanging there. there from the shoulders. Yeah. What is going on? What's your calorie and carb count? Carbs are at 50 grams right now. Fats are at five. Yeah, but that's because five. you're crazy. Yeah, carbs are at 50. Uh, fats are at five. Yeah. Protein? Because um, there's no fats in tuna and very little in cod. And then the protein is at 320. Bah! Nasty. Nasty. And I'm going to try something. I'm going to go up to 400 grams of protein after this uh, slice and dice. I was doing some research on these guys. Um, some old school cats, some big boys that were doing a lot of the lifting like me. And they were, they were in the 400s. And the one cool thing is I got my blood work done by these guys right there. Hello. What's going on? Is like beautiful. And I've been at, Johnny, I've been at... A large amount of protein since I was nine. Um, by 14, I was keeping really good track. Um, mm -hmm. But the, the liver and kidneys are such great numbers. Why would that be? Because everybody always says that if you, if you take too many amino acids and if you eat too much protein, you're going to destroy Somebody said your... really something crazy the other day. They said... If you eat too many carbs, they turn into oh no, too much protein turns into carbs. Oh, what what did he say? If you over if you over eat protein, it turns into sugar. That's what I've heard before, and I'm like, I I, I just can't understand this. But that's cool, man. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I really, come on. that's a cool trick. But I, yeah, I hey, mean, there's people out there that say they identify they're, they're 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 butterflies. So yeah, I, I whatever. Just, <laughs> I, I, yeah, at that point, like I just don't understand it. I mean. You know, to go back to the, the the meat eating now, I guess this is like everybody else has an opinion about this, right? There's like no scientific fact. Even doctors, yes, they tell like kidney patients, like if you're in chronic kidney disease, like stage three or stage four, you have to watch how much protein you're intaking because too much protein will basically overdo the kidneys. They're, they're going to work too hard to try to break it down and it's not going to be good. So, you know, I have my thoughts about it now. You know, I just go back to the way it was back in the old days. And the old days was, and I'm not talking about the old days like uh, 1920s. I'm talking about like the old days, like caveman days. I mean, these guys were living off of what they could eat, right? So, and they didn't they didn't have a guaranteed meal every day either. But if they could get a hold of meat, they were eating meat. And if they were eating some greens, they were probably eating some greens. But they were probably getting meat as a majority, right? And for me, I mean, my kidney and liver functions are great. And I eat a ton of protein. And a ton of steak oh, and a ton of red make meat. It make it clear. You eat a ton of red meat. Ton and of I red love, meat. I love ton it. You, it. Me, you and me, tons of red meat. You know, I, I love it. It's it's the best. Like, you know, I mean, when we start breaking down amino acid profiles, I mean, everything. I mean, you know, steak is one of the best. I mean, the leanest steak cuts are probably your best bet for the, the best amino acid profiles. You know what I mean? So... I don't really understand it. You know, at that point, like, I don't see like a lot of these people that were even eating an abundance of protein. Like they weren't even doing like two, two, <laughs> two grams of protein per, per body pound. I mean, it's, it, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, so it's, it's really, it's really on, it's, there's no scientific proven, like saying like, this will happen if you eat this many grams of protein more than you're supposed to eat per day. So, I mean, I guess it's really on the, on the person. Now, if the person is reacting bad and like they change their diet and all of a sudden, hey, listen, levels start leveling off, then that works for you, I guess.
Now I've heard a lot about the blood type diet too as well. And I haven't got you know into it myself, but I know a lot of patients go by the blood type diet. They find their blood type and then they read this little book and it tells them you should eat chicken, you should eat fish, you should eat steak or whatever it is. And I know people that swear by that too as well. But I guess you got to find out what really works for you. And, and you know, if it's not working for you, you got to make a change. So let's say you're just like me and Mike and you're like, I eat, you know, 60 grams of filet mignon a day and I'm just, you know, I don't hit any carbs and, and everything's really off. Well, you know what? Maybe there needs to be a change in there somewhat. I, I don't know. Maybe your body chemistry is different than our body chemistry. And at that point, it doesn't work like that. So I'm open-minded, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not securely so like, uh, like nice. saying yeah. this is, this is a factual that. thing. You're so nice. Yeah, the, the only thing <laughs> I know, Johnny, is that back in the day, the old school bodybuilders, okay, that had the prettiest bodies, they all they didn't count fats, they didn't count like none of that. It wasn't like, oh, I'm having, you know, they just ate protein and carbs. They had their basic right. protein, you know, they didn't say, you know, broccoli's carbs and you wow. know, this is fine. Let's stand up for a second you know. because it, man, it's so cool to be to have these dinners and, and, and these moments and these sit-downs with these legends since I was, you know, 18, 19. Um, and Lee Haney to most people here is probably a, an old legend, right. but that's nothing compared to what I've talked to from, uh, uh, to the real greats, the Reg Parks, the, the Steve Reeves having dinner with him to mm -hmm. sit down with Jack LaLanne. I know he's not a bodybuilder, but he was a, a phenomenal human uh, athlete. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm to Steve Davis, to Arnold, to, to Lou. So there is a great discussion I had with all of them. And it just seems like it's a mindset because it was like, um, the, Oh yeah, we'd have, uh, we'd have uh, spaghetti. Uh, we'd have pasta. We'd have potatoes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we'd have whole eggs. We'd yeah. have our steak. And these guys yep. to me still, if you, if you put up, uh, Arnold's physique to the new guys today, I would still want Arnold or Steve Reeves' physique over these guys. And these guys, mm -hmm. Steve Reeves was a monster of a human. I don't know if people realize how big Steve. Steve looked like a uh, what they call classic physique today. But right. Steve was taller than Arnold, and he had these shoulders. And I remember when he walked in for dinner, and 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 again, he was my dad's uh, uh, idol. And so I'm sitting there, you know, a 19 year old kid being able to have dinner with him and talk. <laughs> and he walks in, and I just, it's like music just started playing in my head. Like a superhero just walked in. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and he comes in these old suits because this is, this is like 90. And he comes in with this suit, you know, with the tapered waist and up to the shoulders. And I was like, wow. But we talked about nutrition. And, and that night he had two potatoes and two steaks. And I, he wasn't a pup at that time. Right. You know, he was he was seasoned um, right. and he's still eating like that and still look like he did. And I'm like, you know, my discussions back then was I, I never really thought that people would go <laughs> carbs are are the root of all evil. Um, and you should. So I never I didn't ask those kind of questions, but I just think back to Lee Haney and how he eats and how these mm -hmm. other legends ate and stuff. They weren't mm -hmm. scared of food. And I think. I wanted to say in this whole point here is that I know that you said about the blood type diet, about yep. this kind of diet, the, the keto diet, the, all these, they're all great and they all work for a moment. Right. But they don't work for a lifetime. Right. They're not sustainable. It changes you know? your body changes. You, you, you change and you have mm -hmm. to change it up and you've got to, do the very best you can. So if anybody's out there and go, what's the best diet for me? Well, the best diet to get in shape is, is just a basic old school bodybuilding diet. Mm -hmm. You know, have mm -hmm. your proteins, have your red meat, have that. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry about your fats and drop your carbohydrates and work your ass out. And then add in, which is great, this week's special protocol from Titan <laughs> Medical I'm oh, sorry, yeah. just a little alley oop here, a little you know, shot to Kobe. Ah, sure shit. Over, man, because if if they do what we just said, yeah, and they just go, 
basic bodybuilding diet and break it down, do the training, yeah. and then add in what you're going to tell us about right now. Oh yeah. So this one, this one's a, this one's a big one. Uh, you know, me and Sharice have been working on different packages we can start bringing out for people that can help them, right? Like put things together because some people don't know what they want, right? They just know what the goal or what the result they want, but they don't know what to take or what to do. So, you know, we've kind of, you know, put some things together. This week is our Titan transformation or Titan takeover package, I should call it. It's a GLP-1 with tessamorelin. So it could be semi-glutide or tears epitide, tied with tessamorelin. Now, what is this going to do for a patient? It's going to do a lot of different things. One, weight loss. So we're going to get weight loss right off the bat from the GLP-1, right? Two, we're going to have tessamorelin. So tessamorelin is going to help you retain the muscle mass that you have, and it's going to start targeting the adipose belly tissue, and it's going to create lean mass like Mike's arms mm -hmm. here, and it's going to create an anti-aging effect with better sleep. So... <laughs> <laughs> not only are you going to lose weight, you're going to be able to retain that muscle, feel better and change your body composition all through and through. And this is really what you want. So even if you were taking this and let's say you were doing some activity like weightlifting three times a week, very basic stuff, you're going to be able to gain some muscle in this transformation and lose a lot of fat and feel good all the way through and through. So it's our Titan takeover package. I mean, this is like probably the top and we're offering a hundred dollars off the package. Nice. So at that point, they'll be able to get a discount on this. I know in the future, I'll just give you guys a throw it out here that I'm going to do a buy one, get one amino acid. So it's a $275 value. So at that point they buy a Hercules potion and they've never had Titan serenity before, and they don't want to spend 275 on it. They can buy the Hercules potion and they'll get a free bottle, 30 shots of it. So it's a tremendous value that's going to be coming for you guys. But right now, let's talk about the Titan takeover. And at that point, Tessa Morellin or GLP-1 to get you guys summer ready, man, in the winter, man. Coming up, you guys will be ready to go. Maybe on vacation or maybe you guys living in Florida or California and be ready to go. Will you tell me again about, if I'm saying that correctly, GRT-1? GLP, GLP-1s. GLP. Glucagent-like peptide one. So that's semi-glutide or GLP-1 is in tirzepatide, but it also has GIP in it too, which is two active making it, make it main active ingredients, excuse me, that target the brain to curb hunger. Um, they slow down digestion a little bit too as well. Um, and actually with these, helps, with these helps drugs. With digestion? I'm sorry, does it uh, help? Slow, slow, slows down digestion. Yeah, slows so down. basically it makes them feel like they're, they're not hungry for a longer extended period of time. Oh, wow. So is it, I don't know if it does this. Does it, does it signal the brain to say, hey, we've met? Because it's always that, that I love that, that your brain is signaled 15 minutes after you're already. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what it does is it signals the brain and it says, all right, cut out the cravings. And then it slows down digestion, right? Now, there's two reasons why it does that. One is it wants to make sure that you your body thinks it's still full, which it is, right? Two, it's going to release, release the micronutrients and distribute them evenly. Now, what this is going to do is, is this is going to regulate blood sugar levels. So if you're pre-diabetic, this is going to reverse this. If you're diabetes type 2, this is going to help you tremendously. This is going to regulate your insulin to work properly and optimally, actually. Not just properly, optimally. Right. I mean, it's crazy how it works. I mean, with this, with this drug, too, as well, they've already done the studies. Clinical data is there. Cardiovascular disease lowers by 20% by taking this drug alone, right? Now they're talking about kidney protection and other things like addiction cravings and also um, some other things health-wise, which are really, really cool. Now, what do I think it stems back to all this great things that it does is because you're losing weight, right? right? And people that lose weight have less stress in the body and things start regulating properly at that point. Usually people fall off track and their body starts regulating irregularly because they're starting to become obese or overweight and then different things start breaking down. Like they become diabetes type two, diabetic. So at that point, that's going against them. They might be having issues like a fatty liver because their diet is off point. At that point, they're dealing with a whole bunch of different problems. And this is going to cause high blood pressure, you know, and all these different things, cardiovascular disease. So it really does stem back to losing weight. 
And honestly, like I see commercials every day. It's every day. And it's like on everything, Simpsons, everything yeah. about these drugs. Right. Yeah. It's, it's so crazy. They made a South park, a dedicated, <laughs> I, I want you to watch this because it's so funny guys. They made a dedicated South park episode about GLP ones and they had the house moms like they're all like going over like it's like like a crack house like oh let's get our GLP ones. I mean it is hilarious, guys. But um, you know it's it, it's just it's just crazy because there's so many people that are obese and there's so many people on this drug. So I was talking talking to my dad today because we were at the chemo place and we were watching and one of these commercials came on and I'm just telling him like man I'm like everybody is on everybody is on these drugs. I have not taken these drugs yet because I don't want to lose weight. But if I ever became overweight, I, I, I'm like, I wouldn't be too scared about it because I think this drug would help me that much. Um, but at that point, like where we go from here, you know, these drugs are just the beginning. There's so would you, semaglutide, which has one active ingredient. Tirzeptide has two active ingredients. And there will be a third one here in about the next month or two that will have three active ingredients that will be even better than those two. Would you say at this point, um, this isn't, this is a twofold question. Uh, I'm going to give you two. This seems to be even more so uh, beneficial to people that are having issues with, uh, I mean, let's bypass the idea that the same, the only focus here for them is, hey, I'm going to the gym. I want to get in shape. This is more for the person that goes, I have a, a love affair or <laughs> with food, food that i cannot control mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i am yes overweight but more yeah. importantly i'm unhealthy because mm -hmm. what it's doing to my body so this seems like just a, a given to go that to that route oh, yeah. to take this medication oh, yeah. it, 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 i mean to both like i said both like right so not only just the glp ones but at that point like tessa Marlin, like in this package you know it's going to do a lot of different things like they two totally different drugs do two totally different things. So at that point, you're going to get a lot of benefits health wise. And like I said, body composition wise, I mean, you know, even anti-aging, I mean, that's a big one too. I mean, plus you want to retain the muscle when you take these GLP ones, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, that does curb their appetite to the point where they're not getting enough protein intake. Like we were talking about earlier. So don't jump in just yet. Just don't. I, I want to. I want to lead these people into this one because this is the sure. second part of that question, and I know you're the man to answer this. I, I see all these memes now and everything. Um, <laughs> you know the Ozempic memes and all that. The person gets yeah. the phone call and, and the doctor says, "No, you can't have it. You have to go to the gym and train and exercise now and eat right." <laughs> and so it's like, ah, oh, dang it. So <laughs> I see that the world is. Um, not fully understanding this. And so they're having fun with it, which is great. Have fun with it. But this would be the time to go and make those right decisions. Maybe set yourself up on a right nutrition plan. Absolutely. So you're at least retaining the muscle that you have while Absolutely. you're doing this process. If Absolutely. They, they talk about this thing, like it is, it is the super thing to yes. help. And it, it is. Works. There's no it, question. It, it works. It works. So would you agree that maybe, okay, start exercising with it, start having a, a nutrition plan that is scheduled out for you instead of you just going, I'm going to go off when I'm hungry, right? That might be an issue because right. you might not be that hungry. Right. I agree. Yeah, totally. I think that that's the biggest thing. The biggest thing is, is that you got to be prepared nutritional wise about what you're going to eat. And you got to be on point of what you're going to eat every day, like especially protein. I think the biggest things that I would say to somebody is protein and a little bit of fiber. So if you have problems digesting proteins or whatever it is, you have a little bit of fiber. How would I do that? I would do that between lean protein and then, you know, saying, hey, listen, I need to get so much in per day just in weight of the meat or whatever it is. I need to get like three eight ounce steaks in or, or, or you know, three, you know, eight ounce, six ounce chicken breast or whatever it is. You're making and then. <laughs> you know, at that point, I know me too. And then at that point, like, you know, eating maybe an apple a day, if you can eat some apple slices, you're getting some good fibers there. Um, you know, you're getting some greens at, at, to a certain extent, I guess, mm -hmm. but you know, that would be the most beneficial thing. And, and, and being able to work out is going to be a game changer for you too, as well. If you just rely on the pen or the injection, you're going to lose weight, 
But at that point, things might sag. Like I seen this this girl in the gym today, right? And uh, blonde, skinny as skinny, skinny for sure. But she has the thing called Ozempic ass. Excuse me, Ozempic butt. Sorry. And it's like, yeah, it's just dangling. It's super skinny, and she just skin is dangling. I call that can, skinny fat. You can tell though. You can tell when people do that. It, it's 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 literally because. If, if they got it sucked out, it wouldn't do that, right? Mm -hmm. But when it loses, like when you lose a tremendous amount of weight like that, or it's just eating away the muscle, and it's just hanging. I mean, that's just not, it's not a good look. And the face too. I mean, you got you that. Got to be on track with what you're doing, I guess. When I, when I diet down. I know that face. I live with that face half of the year. The um, diet face. Yeah, that diet face. Uh, so I I think this is if. if if, if it works out well, I mean, it does and, and people are doing it, it and it's helping and it's, it's making them healthier. And so just add it for anybody that's going to do this, just add in a nutrition plan that's set I up agree. for you and then I just agree. get that uh, relationship with food again. Hey, I, yes. I'm, I'm as bad as there is for a love for food. I just am just crazy disciplined to where I won't do it. Oh, hi, so, What's up, Titan? <laughs> come, come here, buddy. Say hi. Come to mommy. So he got to go train with me today. Oh, yeah? Nice. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, he got to go train some arms with me. Oh, nice. Bit. I did arms today, too. See? I had to get a little pumped up for you, man. I was going to do arms, but then I said, no. I don't need oh. it. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. I love it. Hey, hey, hey uh, just for everybody, Johnny, talk about um, some merch. Uh, sure, sure. Sure. So, merch right here. I do. So, I, I was loving it. So, Mike has a shirt. It's the Titan Order, Titan Lifestyle shirt. This one you guys can order online at tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys go right there, order the shirt. Um, you know, obviously, I got, you know, I got um inspired by the nwo shirt so you know i say you know what it's got to be a titan order here and you know mike i was like we got to send out some shirts we have two different variations the one that says for life right there or the one that just has the regular logo so you guys can see that it says a titan lifestyle and back to a hashtag um we got a ton of new merch for girls so the new leggings shorts sports bras so all the shorts and the leggings now have yes that's a beautiful tank top that mona has on has um, all scrunch butts and V tapered in front, which are really nice. The girls love that. And then we have these onesies. So we'll be breaking out for Olympia, but we do have some for sale. And then we have all our awesome bikinis for sale too. So I'm sure you guys have been seeing that on the story. It's been rocking and rolling. I know um, what it could be. Yeah. And then all our regular stuff that we have, all our t-shirts and pants and just go on the website, check it out. You guys will love it. Um, and, and for you guys that uh, wonder about merch and the material, as you saw Mona's tank top, it's a nice, I, I like yes. that. I'm, what's what's the faded material called, Jeff? The tri blend. Tri blend. Yeah. Yes. So this is this is soft and comfortable. And I'm a guy. Yes. I'm a judo player, and I hate anything tight around my neck. Yes. You can't hug me around the neck. I don't want a shirt tight around the neck. So right, um, right. Hang on. <laughs> so order uh, Titan bundle. Oh, right. Nice. At Titan Medical. The phone number is right there. Um, yeah. Yep. Get that, In car text. And was that Ernest? Yeah. Titan Takeover Bundle. Ernest, my friend, this would be great for you because I know that Ernest is a, a, a great, great kid. He's uh, uh, He's got a crazy schedule that doesn't permit a lot of time for Jim. Oh, wow. Uh, but but he's a good size, good size guy. So this would be really helpful yeah. for him to really shred some of that uh, extra body weight and retain that muscle. Because he's pretty mm -hmm. good when I, when I tell him what to do when it comes to nutrition. He's pretty good. So you are like a yeah. pinnacle for this, Ernest. It was good seeing you, oh, and I'm man. glad you're here, my friend. Yeah, and the good thing about it is, is if you start a GLP-1, and let's say you get great success, um, if you want to maintain, there's like microdosing protocols that we have. Like you can maintenance dose, or you can just come off completely. And then, you know, if you change your lifestyle, because that is the goal. That's the goal. So I love GLP-1s. I think they're amazing drugs. But, you know, I have a love and hate relationship because I love them because they work so good, but I hate them because they work so good because people don't have to change. 
Yeah. But when they get off those drugs, then it's a yo-yo effect and it comes right back to you. So then you got to change back. So at that point, like, you know, if people would do that right off the bat and it's simple and easy, once you start losing your appetite, you can start picking, choosing your protein sources and your food sources to be a lot better because you're not as hungry all the time. So, you know, it, it, you can set yourself up for, for success. Or you can set yourself up for failure and you have to be the bearer of that destiny, I guess. Yeah. I think the, the great thing, why I love Titan medical is because it is not going to, it's not going to say, Hey, get on, you know, just get on these and then you're good. Yeah. Yeah. He's no. giving you the full story, which I think, which most companies don't do. Most companies, <laughs> I, I know for a fact, because I, I sat in on a couple discussions and these people are going, well, you just get on this. Well, won't this happen? Yeah, but we'll give you something for that. And then we'll, won't this happen? And well, we'll give you something for that. And it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> One and two is fine, but you can just start taking right. care of your health. You can start drinking water. You oh, can start, boy. you know, it's like, wow. <laughs> but that doesn't make the company yes. money. But where you set it up, that the person's going to always be there because of the fact that you do the most minimum that you right. need to do. And that changes them. And then they see the changes and understand that true longevity is Absolutely. being smart with it. Absolutely. And it's all about quality over quantity, you know? So it's not about doing 10 different things. Now you can stack them. Yes. You can start doing building block effect, but you know, I always say start with one or start with two, you know, like if you're doing testosterone replacement, I say, Hey, start with that, you know, get your foundation there, start feeling better, start seeing some change. Then, you know, get motivated, go do some activity. Now you start adding maybe some aminos or testosterone, or whatever it is. At that point, you know, what's working for you and you know how it feels, I guess, to a certain extent. That's always what I do. So if I ever introduce something new, I try to do that by itself just for a little bit. I mean, I'll do my testosterone and a couple other things, but I try just that drug and, and I'll be like, all right, let me see what this is going to do from here. Um, which I, there's new ones coming down the pipe. Tell us, you know, can you tell us anything else about coming down the pipe on possible works can't, without giving can't too much? Yet. All right. All so, right. I mean, I've, I've, wor I've worked on some semi-glutide, some tears, epitide. I'm working with a pharmacy right now where it's a uh, sublingual. So at that point, they won't have to refrigerate it. Um, they won't have to do an injection and it works just as good. So, you know, at that point, like they've got the studies on it. I'm happy with it. It looks pretty good. So we're waiting to roll that out and see what that looks like. So I think that's just one of them. And there's some different peptides that are probably coming down the pike that I can say that are probably going to be beneficial. Um, there's a couple other ones. Like there's a drug that they use with GLP-1s that actually increases the effectiveness of the GLP-1, which is just crazy because the GLP-1s are that effective already. Right. Right. So the, the way that I could see it work is, is that, you know, with GLP ones, it's on like a, 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 a tier uh, a movement where it goes up like in dosage. So at that point, like, you know, you start off the first two weeks at like, let's say 10 units and four weeks into it, you go to 25 units and 30 units and so on and so on. Well, so many people work their way up where, you know, they might have to buy like two vials or three vials to get in the exact same is to where they, when they started the effect, right? They right. have to keep going up. So it can get kind of costly doing that. And at that point, being able to add this drug in, you don't have to go up and dose and it's still effective. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. To, it does to me. So it Hopefully might, it does. might save them some money in the long run that they don't have to keep buying multiple vials at a time or injectables. And at that point, you know, this is making the drug effective at that dose and staying at that dose, which is pretty cool. It seems like then it just that much further to our our belief that when you do this, hit it with the workouts and, and the training and the nutrition and, and the cardiovascular and add those other things in it. Because if it does have that effect to where uh, when you start, your body will become somewhat immune to it, I guess would be a term to yeah, that builds up tolerance. So you'd have to go up again and then yep. it, it takes time and then your body comes with me. So jump into everything else that way, eight weeks in 12 weeks in yeah. you're, you're looking already great and you don't have to keep adding in and you can go the reverse right. and 
maybe wing right. your way off of it. And Absolutely. those new habits you created, you're set up. And Absolutely. now you stay on like something like Tess Morell and, and, and continue yeah. to be lean and develop the muscle and recovery. And so that, now you're golden. Yeah. And that's why I tell people, I'm like, work on yourself, like right? one part at a time. Like, all right, like if you're low on testosterone, get that right. All right, you've got that right. Now, what's the next goal? I want to lose weight. All right, cool. Let's lose some weight. Now, what do I want to do? I want to build some lean mass. All right, let's build some lean mass. What else can we dial in? All right, I want to, I want to think better. I want better concentration. All right, let's dial that in. You know what I mean? So it's not like just attacking everything at one time. Now, you're going to get an overall effect from some of these drugs for sure. But I'm, I'm saying like, you know, you're you progressively have a goal that you're going towards and you're laser focused on that goal to accomplish that goal first before you move on to the next one. Hey, uh, I do want to say... Uh, it's been great. I've been here a, a little while now and I get to see some mm -hmm. success changes from individuals that have gone over there with Titan medical and, and, oh, and awesome. you know, uh, most of these guys and girls that I've talked to, what I love is, is, uh, the, the ladies that have gone over there, I'm seeing such healthiness from them. And nice. it's funny because, you know, you don't, I, I think society doesn't mm -hmm. think you go to the doctor to get healthy. You don't go to an HRT. Now, now you go to a doctor. They're just going to give you medication. You go to right. where Titan Medical is, and they're going to set you up to win and get a better physique and a better mind and a better body right. that you can really succeed. And it's cool to yeah. see that these individuals became healthy so quickly and changed their whole physiques. It's like these people were kind of broken. A couple of the women were like, they couldn't exercise much. They couldn't move much. They couldn't run or, you know, and uh, they're around my age. And now they're like out there and I'm like, I don't want to hang with you. You're way too much of an animal for me. <laughs> you guys are running and doing all this stuff. And it's like, wow, you just gave them life. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's truly awesome. It's cool to see. It was really cool to see because yeah. these people have that, that, that souls that you just kind of go, dang, I wish, I wish. And then suddenly... It works That's and they're awesome. at this level. And then some of these guys though, man, savages. <laughs> one, one, of these, one of these guys is a, a, um, competes a Brazilian jiu-jitsu and he just got his black belt. And he goes, I'll tell you, man, I play with people now in class. I'm playing with them. He's got <laughs> that much stronger. You know, he's in the early 30s. He had very low T, but it was so cool to see that he's, he studied so long and became good at something. Yeah. But when you're good at something and you add strength, now you're dominant. And Absolutely. now that he has, and, 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 it, and he's just, again, back to a regular good level for a 30 year old. Um, mm -hmm. And he's just destroying people. So it's so cool to see that. Uh, plus other ones that we, we get to see that are so strong and, and, and getting their dream bodies. Um, which I, I think society again, and you and me talked about this. And when you started the company, it was like this. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna sell what? Is this what yeah. you're gonna do? It's a bodybuilding. I don't think people realize when your body works well and healthy, you can change so much. Yes. And, yes. And these guys are changing, and, and that's what you're doing. So just me yes. to you, props to the company for for helping Thanks, these man. people. Um, Thank you. But, and they you can know, maintain I, I, They can do this yeah. for a lifetime. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, longer, hopefully, you know, a longer time than the, hopefully we're going to have. You know, I mean, so if you change things in your health, it, it's never too late to change. You know, unless you're 99 years old and you're on your deathbed, you know, waiting the, the reaper I see coming. I see but even at that point. On social media, people go uh, memes like, so after you fold it, this is what happens. After you fold it, this is like they feel like that you're tired, that you don't want to do yeah. stuff, that you're out of shape. Yeah. And I'm thinking, after you fold it, I'm like, what yeah. are you talking about? I think I, I looked know. at my best at 40. You know, yeah. it's so weird to see that though. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, but that's the thing. I mean, you know, I mean, people, they're going to have problems. I mean, there's going to be issues that come as you age. And at that point, being preventative about your health um, is controlling your destiny. And I say that because yes. if you don't 
be preventive about it and you don't care and you just let things ride, you're more susceptible to have more damage or something happen. Um, so, you know, or you're not going to feel your best and feeling your best is everything. If you feel your best every single day or majority of your days, let's say 90% of your days, then you're probably going to accomplish more. You will accomplish more than the person that does not feel good 90% of the days because the attitude's not going to be there because they don't feel good. Maybe mental clarity is not there. Physical strength yeah. isn't there. I mean, there's a lot of different things. So, I mean, it's, it's key. It's really key for people to do it. And it's the biggest compliment that I ever get from anybody. They've came up to me and they said, John, you've changed my life. Or like, I, I don't ever think I could have accomplished this without you guys. That is worth more than money to me. That is priceless. Like that is something like you, know, you can't pay for. I don't know. I don't know even how to describe the feeling that I get from the people that when they tell me that. So it's awesome. It really is cool. And, and that's where we got into it. So the more people we can help, the better. And obviously I got to make you look good because you referred them to me. Right. Yeah. So they gotta be, they, they gotta be sure. I gotta make sure they're good. But at that point, like, you know, my staff, you know, they take care of the patients really well. Yeah. And that's what we do here. And at that point, like, you know, that's what we're going to keep doing. You know, we'll be the highest standard of quality of care and the most cutting edge therapy wise that you're going to get out there. Yeah. For anybody here, Mona made a good point in uh, 40. Uh, I don't think people realize this. Uh, the first time I got American Gladiators, I was a 20 year old kid. And so that's expected, you know, playing football and wrestling and doing martial arts and powerlifting and all that. Can 20 years old, I, I beat up people and <laughs> smashed them. That's easy enough. I don't think they realize uh, at 42, when we brought American Gladiators back and they said, do you want a position? I said, no, what I'll do is try out with everybody else. And then I set records on all the events and beat up everybody that wanted to position there. And so I, I said, <laughs> I have to earn my spot. But I was 42. And yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. going against all D1 or ex-pro players and everybody, and, and, and I smashed them. And the point there is we're giving you a roadmap. 40 is not over. 40 was just another start for me in Gladiators and doing that. Yeah. Exactly. So for everybody here, like Mona said, you, you know – 40s guys we're gonna have you guys doing this till your 60s baby. 70s it really <laughs> is it's like look at I these lead actors today these these brad pitts and george clooney's their 50s and 60s yeah and they're still rocking yep. and doing it good and they're healthy and they look great so yeah that's the goal for titan medical is to get you to not just be healthy and and do whatever it's to optimize you make you even better it's I always go Absolutely. back to the Captain America. We close the shield and then you come out and you're just like, yes, yes. So get, get the super serum. Yeah. Jeffrey wants that. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, Jeffrey, can we go some some questions here now? Yeah, go on here. Stomach glutide with MK677. Oh, uh, did you hear that? I could do that. So we, we have had some patients run that. So semi-glutide and MK677 is a combination. So we have had some people run that. Um, you know, they didn't get, they did get some spikes in hunger when they did take the medication, but not like the spikes with the, without the medication, if that makes any sense. So the MK it, is going to make you hungry? Yes. It, yeah. So it, it didn't spike. It, it would, would take it with the GLP-1. It did not spike their hunger like it did without the GLP-1, but they did feel hungrier, I guess they said on the GLP-1 with the MK. Right. So at that point, like, it's a good one. I mean, you know, I mean, but you know, what's the goal? We, we want to be goal? hungry. Don't want to be hungry, but retain muscle. Yeah. Was that the goal to kind of cross out that whole, the, 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 the conversation? Like, if, if MK, MK is such a great way to, to raise your natural growth hormone level. Right. But Typically, I, I, like, honestly, yeah, I mean, right, right. So, what happens if you wanted to take it when you were cutting down without having to be like hungry all the time? Which would suck because you're already hungry. So, oh, so that's a that's a twofold because you you can go either way with that. Then yeah, that's why you're 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 saying the person that needs needs it to lose weight and and lose body fat, and mm -hmm. also for the person that wants to be jacked. Mm -hmm. Uh, and retain some of the muscle, but just doesn't want to eat all the time because right. they're so. 
Oh, I, that's an interesting. He gave you a little Frankenstein there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that's well, a very I mean, creative you know, way to do it. You know, it, you can you can stimulate a little bit more hunger. So if you're like, all right, well, I'm not getting enough protein. Maybe this will stimulate a little bit more hunger. I can do this. Now, obviously, with MK, we're going to start stimulating IGF-1 levels too, right? And that's that's what we want out of the drug. And at that point, that's going to help retain muscle. It will help, you know, as far as maybe strength and recovery and all these different things. But testosterone is going to do that too. So that's the only thing. MK might right. be a cheaper route to go, but it might not work the exact same for everybody either. So I, I you know, this hasn't been hasn't been out there. The testosterone, the GLP one, I've got a lot of people on that mix. So I've seen a lot of different results from it. With MK, have I had maybe one or two patients? Because I want to see. I'm like, hey, listen, I'll just comp it for you. Just tell me what what you feel and how it's going. So right. at that point, the, the dude told me, he's like, yeah, he's like, I, I felt a little bit more hungrier, you know, taking it with the GLP-1. So I'm like, mm, well, if people maybe need a little bit more hunger, I guess this is a route to go. So I don't know. It's 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 interesting because you could definitely cut down on it and you could definitely stay bulked. So you know, if that makes sense with, with, with muscle. So I see the test morelin because it's, of the fact it's a good, good combination. Most, most people want to be sliced. And most people want to drop down. So I could see why that would be the, the, the go-to in this situation. So, right. you know, you get, you get the people that, that yes, of course you're right. You're hitting that right on the money because most people want to lose weight. Yeah. Not most people that, you know, you got the skinnier ectomorphs that need to get more calories. And those are guys that usually take MK. Right. Um, but usually people want to lose weight. 60 to 70% of people are obese overweight right now. It might even be higher than that. Um, but at that point, you know, when you take that drug, you're going to start losing weight. Now, the other benefit is, is testosterone is hitting the adipose tissue. I, 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 I like to hit on that because people want to lose weight and then they lose weight. And then what? I want to get a six pack, right? How are you going to do that? You have all this adipose tissue. The other thing is, is adipose tissue is the unhealthy fat, right? Really unhealthy fat that's surrounding organs and such. So we don't want that. So if we can start getting that out as well, then I think you're going to be a, you're going to be, you're going to. You're going to feel good and you're going to look good and real quick. You know, I mean, that's, that's the thing. I mean, weight loss with these drugs, super fast, super fast. And if you're so. going to use that word real quick, everybody's going to jump on it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants a quick turnaround. They want real that. quick. <laughs> I mean, it, you, you can't, so it's not just me saying it either. Right. So <laughs> I'm saying this because the clinical study said this, that yeah. the FDA yeah. approvals with, I mean, but not only am I saying it because of that, I'm saying it because I've seen so many different patients lose crazy amounts of weight on these drugs really fast. So, and it's not really good to lose a whole bunch of weight really fast either. So don't be like, Hey, I want to lose like a hundred pounds in like two weeks. That's not going to be good for you either. You're going to have a whole bunch of loose skin that's hanging and all these different things. If you lose weight over time, gradually, maybe not as fast as you want, your skin will hopefully come back a little bit elasticity wise, unless you're just, stretched out then at that point you know it is what it is you might need surgery at that point yeah um we got a question for you here i'll let you handle that one sure um, this is, hi yeah. mike good to see you question a lot of bodybuilders suffering from hair loss some say it's genetic or some say testosterone levels up and down what do you suggest to keep maintain and how so all right so a lot of bodybuilders are suffering from hair loss, but a lot of non-bodybuilders are suffering from hair loss. Yeah. Right? I mean, right, Mona? I mean, this yeah. is this is like blatant obvious because you got big overweight people that are bald. You know what I mean? Come on. Or they're losing hair. So, you know, the, the question is, is why? Why are people losing hair? Why are people, you know, going thin real early ages too as well? Well, there's a couple of different things going on, I guess. I guess environmental, we're breathing in, taking in, water hitting our head. Different shampoos might not be the healthiest for your hair. I heard some of them actually are bad for your hair if you utilize them. Um, you know, and at that, because, man, I was back in the day when it was like Perk Plus, boom, it was real cheap, $5 a bottle and used it, and I was on my way in college. Now it's it's a more expensive one that, you know, the making sure I'm trying to keep every lock that I have in my head still there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so there's different things that you can do there wise. But, you know, the other thing is, is it could come down to hormone levels and, you know, blood flow to the follicles in the head. So at that point, like if you have high DHT levels, the hydrotestosterone levels, it actually blocks the blood flow from 
you know, from here to your follicles in your head. And that's why they start dying out. They go through the, the, the stages. So at that point, you want to make sure you can combat this. Now, one, if you're, if you're taking any anabolics whatsoever, then that could cause hair loss. I know people that have taken anabolics one cycle and lost a lot of hair. Wow. I know people that have taken everything in the bathtub and lost not one single strand. It could be genetics too. But if the genetics are against you, whether you're a male or a female, then it can erupt and cause a lot of problems hair wise. And I see it, unfortunately, with a lot of the heavyweight bodybuilding women, right? I see it all the time. Where it's fitness like, and uh, the fitness or not having hair. I mean, I know yeah. a lot of them that wear wigs, you know, or they, they do a little extension or whatever it is. I'm just being honest. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest, you know, and I feel for those, I feel for those women out there. I feel for the guys out there because it's a confidence factor, especially for women. For men, I, you know, to each is their own, I guess. But majority of men, I would say this. I would say, and I'm in this category too as well. I'd rather perform like a bull all day long and lose all my hair. I'd rather look good, perform good. And you know what? If I have to lose my hair, it is what it is. But a female, it's not as easy for a female to go bald. I think for a guy it is. It's more acceptable and like you see a lot more bald guys out there where females, even if they are bald, they're wearing wigs and stuff like that. And you can't even tell these days. They're that good. So I, I think at that point, you know, you need to look at these different things. If you have this in your uh, your family history, then you need to look at this and say, listen, I might have a problem coming in the future. This is where being preventative is comes into play. If you start noticing your hair starts thinning, then you need to do something about it. Whether you start with a blood test or then start on Rogaine, which is minoxidil. And you can buy it in your local grocery store, Walgreens, or whatever it is. And this will help to at least retain what you're what's what you have. Now, if you stop the row game, you're probably going to start losing hair again. So that's one factor. If you want to go one step further, then we have a, a you know, our hair, a tight hair foam, which has minoxidil, finasteride, and lantropost. So finasteride is the only FDA approved medication, except for minoxidil, that helps you retain your hair. Now, if you take this orally, whether it's one milligram to five milligrams, it has the exact same effect, um, but there are a percentage of people and I was one of them taking it orally that you have like, it's a male castration drug to a certain extent. It kills your libido. You don't even think about it and you don't even wonder about it. So it's really weird. I've never been in that situation before in my life. And I, you know, as, as soon as I recognized it, cause Sharice was like, what's going on? And I'm like, I've never had this question in my life. What's going on? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> and so I look at it, I'm like, oh, hell no. I ain't going through this. I'm, uh -uh. No, no, no. Uh, so I stopped it. And it takes a couple of weeks to get out of your system. And But once it was gone, immediate. And it was funny because I was on testosterone replacement therapy when I asked the doctor, and this was not my doctor that prescribed this to me, not at the clinic. And I asked him, he was a hair doctor. And I want, cause I was like, you know, I want to go right to a, a guy that does this every single day, every single patient and see what he says. And he said, well, you'll be on testosterone replacement therapy, right? I said, yeah. He said, you're not have to worry about any of that. He's like, nothing's going to happen. You'll be fine. You'll just retain your hair and you'll have everything going for you. So I said, okay, cool. Well, I blood my test, right? Blood test myself a lot. Let's put it that way. So I was like, all right, let me blood test my free total testosterone ranges, estradiol ranges and DHT ranges. Everything came back like it does now. I'm up on, on T on both levels, free and total. And my DHT was low because when I tested it before, it was like through the roof. It was like a couple hundred points. And I was like, uh-oh, I was like, this is really high. So I was like, I better get this down. So at that point, um, you know, at, at that point, my body was just converting it too quickly. And, and I started the DHT blocker and it went down normal ranges. It didn't go too low. So I was like, Shouldn't be affecting me like this. But once that stopped, I was like, I don't care. I was like, it is what it is. I was, I'll, I'll take the hair foam. And uh, you know what? If I don't have no negative side effects with that, then I'll be good to go. So that's what I did. And that's what I do. And that's what a lot of other patients do. The other thing you can do is injectable biotin or hair health capsules. Those are good. You can actually do all three of these. And that's the way that I would do it. If somebody's was like, you know what? I had a lot, like a lot of people had, um, you know, that viral thing that happened you know, a couple of years ago for the last couple of years. And that made them lose hair too. There's a lot of women, a lot of guys that shedded hair because they caught that and they went through some, some issues inside or whatever happened. So by doing the injectable biotin, the hair health capsules and the hair foam, 
it will regrow everything that you've lost. Now, if you've lost all your hair, I'm not going to say it's going to be like a Chia Pet and grow back. So if you've lost it all, I don't want to say if it's all bald, then there's probably no way back unless you get the, the food, the hair transformation thing. Otherwise, what we have, not. but for majority of people out there, we can help them. Yeah. I just, for everybody, I do, I do the three, I do the shot, I do the tablet and I do the foam. Yep. So uh, that's what I do. And that's what's going to keep those keep locks hair, um, healthy and stuff. And then I also noticed this, just so you guys understand when you diet an extreme diet, you do have breakage and, and thinning of hair, but that's because of the nutrition that you're taking in. That will come right back as soon as you get back into a surplex and pull your training back down. Now that's what I noticed is even though I was in a deficit and in this extreme training, yeah. doing the three right. from Titan Medical helped keep the flow. And yeah. so it worked out great for me because I'm not worried about so much step, but on stage and being a bodybuilder and not caring about the face, I'm doing a movie. And so I had to be in that condition and had to look healthy for it. And so uh, yep. thank you, Johnny. I appreciate that. So that's oh, yeah. for anybody that's here. Um, yeah. The foam, the injectable and the uh, tablet. Yeah. Uh, I recommend it. It's good stuff, man, for sure. I know a lot of people it's helped. Yeah. And we got Titan over here taking over Jeff's job now. Nice. Gonna... Tell him, Titan, tell him. <laughs> you're you're going to pick us another question, my friend. Yeah. All right. So what is better for muscle gain? High weight, low reps or low weight with high reps? So this actually came from Twitch. Okay. Johnny, go for it. He knows the emojis. I mean, he made the. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, do you want to answer that one? Sure. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, they've had research on this. I've looked at it. They say that by the research, uh, Lower weight with high reps is going to create muscle, but higher weight with lower reps will create strength. Now, what do I think about this? I don't think you should go with lower weight. I think you should go with 70 to 80% and then do high reps. You know, I think the more reps you can do and the more weight over time, obviously, you know, that's what you want to do. So I wouldn't go real low, like 10 pounds. I mean, oh, let me do 10 pounds. Let me do 100. All right. Well, that's really not going to do anything probably. Yeah, I think with you guys are finally seeing this. Alone. That's really not going to do it. So that's my that's my play, and that's how I do things. Um, but hey, listen, Mike will probably tell you, and he knows more than me. So at this for sure. Yeah, the, the gym is about getting strong. Um, that's going to help you in every aspect of life. Um, and like Johnny says, a two as heavy a weight as you can do for the rep range you're doing. So if you're doing fifteen reps. That weight's still going to be heavy for that 15 reps. Um, and, right. and again, just so you guys understand, uh, doing motion that's not stressing the body is mileage. Yep. So think about that. Think about just Wear going into side laterals. You do five sets of 20 reps with 10 pounds on side laterals. Well, that's mileage, and you got no benefit from the strength or the connective tissue or the ligaments getting stronger. So you just put mileage on that bad boy. So that's that's not what you want. You don't want mileage. You want to be able to get in there, do like Johnny said, do some reps, but mm -hmm. use heavy weight doing those reps. End of the yeah. day. I don't know where what year that came out that people said uh, uh, heavy weight, low reps, or lightweight, lots of reps. That was never a thing. That's a whole um, new philosophy. It just came out. I read in Men's Health and Fitness like maybe like two months ago. It was actually a topic for my show that I did on a Tuesday. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the hell? What is it? That's not how you do it. I don't, I, you know, some of these articles you read in these magazines, I'm like, this <laughs> is not real world. Like, this is not, like, this is not real time. Like, I, I don't know where the hell they got this information from. Or, or, or I mean, listen, you could probably find anything and anything on the internet. So if you really want to prove a point, you probably could. But at that point, like, I don't know. I go by experience and I see, I learn from the past, I guess, and what those people have done. And I see what they've done. And I'm like, mm, that's probably the way to do it. Now, is there new innovative things that come out? Yes, of course. That's how we get better. And that's where I think where the breakdown is of, the old school bodybuilders and the diet 
You know, let me get two steaks. I'm a meat and potatoes guy. I get two potatoes and that's what I'm eating. And then you got, you know, the more advanced things now where it's sort of like breaking down the macros to a T. Like, I think you get more detail, but I think people get lost in that translation. And if they went with the simpler way to train and eat, I think they'd be more successful. Go for, go for another one here. No, All right. No. For both of you. It says, hi, Mike. When you're not smashing the gym, what do you enjoy doing with your day other than creating good memes? <laughs> uh, I would like to say that I uh, I, I create the memes, but uh, <laughs> sees knuckleheads <laughs> over here that's doing that. <laughs> um, and it's the world, not me. It's not me. But I, I love developing content, and I like doing that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, I will give you a little trivia. I am a uh, avid uh, chess player. Uh, I love the game of chess. So. Mm. And I can't beat Mona, so that's that's my focus is to beat Mona. These Russian, these Eastern Bloc people, they're very good at it. Um, yeah, but that's yeah. yeah. Basic life: eating, training. <laughs> I would. I wish I could say I'm a full time bodybuilder, but it's not with this one around. This Johnny, what about you? Besides <laughs> kicking ass at work. Movies Johnny, we have to Thursday set up, night. We have we have to set up the Olympia, by the way, Johnny. Everybody, we're gonna be at the Olympia this year with Titan Medical. So yes, sure Olympia it. twenty I'm by thirty. Excited. Yes. I hope I see all the time. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I've got I've got the the area set now where or our official location is gonna be. Nice. So it's pretty cool. I, we're right across from Celsius. So we've got probably one of the right, best spots right. on there. Like right, they were right great there. last so, year. Yeah. That's how we were last year too. We were yeah. right by Celsius, right, right next to them. So awesome. So well, I mean, we'll probably have big crowds over there. Obviously, them and us. I mean, obviously, but you did dominate that crowd last year. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I just from, the, off there. from the seventh to the tenth, I believe it is. Yeah. October. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna be but, coming. Um, be there for Wednesday, yeah, October. I get in on Wednesday, and I'm staying until yeah. Monday. Yep. Um, and again, yep. Uh, Titan Medical Booth, come by, see us. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. thinking, if I'm correct, we're going to have a pretty cool setup to be able to for you guys to come in to the yep. booth, say hello, ask questions, yep. um, be able to talk to some people about protocol and all that, and get photos with us and talk to us. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to set that up as we it's speak. Very good stuff for everybody to get their tickets, to plan their weekend, the weekend of the 8th, 9th, and 10th, the Olympia. Las Vegas. It's, it's, it's 10, 10 through the 13th, isn't it? Yeah, 10 through the 13th, probably. 10 through the 13th. Yeah. All right. I'm not looking I'm at like, that. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, right. We're going to definitely be, be having good. 10 through the 13th. I'm like, all right. So it's, yeah, it's, def it's definitely be awesome. 60th anniversary of the Olympia. You know, so even um, this last weekend was Tampa Pro, the Titan Medical Center, Tampa Pro, uh, which was a huge success too as well. And, you know, at that point, some people got their qualifications for Olympia. So they were pretty happy about that, I'm sure. Uh, Tampa Pro is not an easy show by any means. People come from all yeah. around the world to compete pro and amateur wise. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good show for us. And uh, it was really exciting. And we're going to have a ton of giveaways for Olympia. Like cool giveaways, not. I mean, we always have cool T-shirts and all that. We'll have NTO shirts out there, Titan Strong shirts, a regular billboard shirts and stuff like that. But I'm gonna be having those those sleeveless hoodies that I'm always wearing, ones with sleeves on it too. If you don't like sleeveless, um, whole bunch of cool new stuff for females out there. It's just it's gonna be really really good. I'm I'm trying to figure out like how many boxes I'm gonna have to ship out there. That's the only thing I like. Damn, I gotta ship all these boxes and hopefully I don't have to ship anything home. I hate shipping stuff home. I hate it. But uh, Jeff, it should be good. Uh, when does he need to be in Florida to pick up the McLaren to drive it to Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> they asked me, they're like, are, are you going to bring a car this year? I'm like, no, I'm not bringing a car this year. <laughs> I'm like, I wish. But I don't want to pay for the transport to go all the way down there. And all. I'm like, man, I'm like, it's just something Something goes wrong and I would be just upset about it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do this. Um, plus, when we get back, we've got like Hurricane Bro the next weekend when we get back, like directly. I'm like Tim, I'm like you couldn't give us like a week in between this, right? Um, and then we've got like this other big event, like Cars and Core Tour. It's a huge charity fashion show event uh, at the Mortal Enclave. So, yeah, it's it's going to be kind of crazy here um, in the next couple months for us. I'm saying yes. Go something. for it. 
All right, there is no such thing of a dietitian at surgery recovery. So I'm guessing fresh greens to help with cartilage, my knees, else. Does bone density matter when consuming foods? Okay, well, dietitian surgery recovery. So no, there's no dietitians at sur surgery recovery centers. Um, you're also, I mean, you're going to definitely want to take some sort of supplementation too. I would take a collagen supplement if you're worried about cartilage. Knees, I don't know what kind of surgery you had, uh, but I would start looking at that. Obviously, a, a good, good diet with greens, protein, and, you know, and consuming some good foods. But bone density doesn't matter when consuming foods. But if you want to increase bone density, that's another story. Um, and this is a problem with, you know, males and females that start going through uh, deficient hormones, the bone density. So that's a problem, you know, arthroporosis osteoporosis um, happens to both males and females. And at that point it can be a big problem. And that's why when people get old, they break bones very easily. They fall, they break their, their leg, their femur and all that. And it's, it's a bad problem. So. Yeah. I was just watching the reality of that when, when they're old and they're frail is that a broken hip uh, will usually finish them off because of the yep. fact that Crazy. three days Within three days, they got um, ammonia in, in the hospital, and then that's it. It's like yep. the breakdown. Um, yep. Just so you know, I know that you said greens. Um, collagen, like Johnny said, just understand that protein, by eating it and then just taking vitamin C, that, that is collagen, uh, yes. the mixture of. So I recommend definitely, um, especially for the, the protein and, and your density to the, yep. the bones, is yeah, get your protein yep. in there. Focus, focus on that. Yep. Greens are always good and additional, but it is the protein. Um, and then when you do feel better and everything's good, get back into the gym for yeah. bone density is lifting. Yep. Is lifting. Do not think it is cardio. It is lifting, not cardio. Definitely um, not. Especially for women. Yeah, especially. Women especially need weightlifting more than men. Yes. They do. They do. And at that point, you know, if you find yourself where, you know, you're starting to get older, you've been through menopause or even, you know, pre and you're having some issues, do blood tests, right? And let's say you are low on testosterone. If you take testosterone supplementation like that and get back to a normal level, that will help tremendously. You won't have those bone density issues. So it's all about being preventative before these things start occurring, right? And, and that's, a, that's a big one. Yeah, for anybody like, here, be preventative. You know, yeah, it's all about being preventative. And like, you know, even my dad, right? Is I mean, he's got stage three colorectal cancer. I think the only thing that's honestly I hope help him retain right now is on, on HRT. Literally. And like, I mean, it helps him get energy. He's, I mean, he's not training. That's the next thing I'm gonna start trying to do with him is give him five, 10 minutes of training. But it's key. I mean, it's definitely key for sure. It's uh, probably helped too that he's first off mentally strong and he's a big boy. Yeah, man, good size, sure. good size, sure. uh, big boy. Hey, Johnny, thanks for today, brother. Oh, man, you're welcome, man. You're welcome. Thank I appreciate you. you guys. Again, go on over there. The merch. That's right. Love it. I love yeah. it. And thank you, everybody, for joining in today. Yeah. Thanks, yes. everybody, for, um, for hanging out with us. And yeah. uh, I'm glad uh, Titan didn't uh, disturb us too bad. Oh, um, no. We'll get you guys next week, next Tuesday. Same thing, same place here. Uh, but today, like you said, they have a special. Get on over to Titan Medical. Give a phone call. Get in there. Titan Takeover Package. Ask for it now. Thank Thanks, you, Johnny. Johnny. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it. Yeah, for, for the real Titans, thank you for coming back on this. For the new ones, and I, there's a few new people there. Thanks for joining the Titan family. Uh, make sure you jump on here again because you have a lot to learn. This is for the newbies. The newbies. <laughs> okay. All right. Time to go work out. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>